Hello, Philip. Hey, Leo. I'm a big fan of the show. Oh, I'm a big fan of you, Philip. <laughs> How are you today? Good. I've got a computer, a paying for two gear, two fifty-six minutes of RAM, and a ten gig, and a two hundred gigger. Oh, now you're just showing off, Philip. But here's the problem, Leo. Uh oh. It's not registering the two hundred gigs. It's registering only 189 gigs. Oh, all right. Nothing to worry about, nothing to fear. It's going to be okay, Philip. Thank you, Leo. <laughs> I'll tell you why. Now, if you had said, uh, I have a 200 gig hard drive and I'm only seeing 138 gigs, I would say, oh, you've got a problem. Your hard drive controller is incompatible. Hard drive controllers. Uh, your ID, sometimes they call the IDE controller. Um, w the original IDE controllers were designed for hard drives that never got bigger than, are you ready for this, Philip? Yep. 512 megabytes. That was the biggest Whoa. thing. Well, that you could barely, what? You could barely uh, put a program on a 512 megabytes, let alone a whole operating system, all your programs, all your data, and all that stuff. But that's what we used to use in the old days. So, uh, they came up with tricks around that, and they managed to get the hard drive size up to two gigabytes. Wow! And that wasn't so long ago. That was just a few years ago. Well, obviously, drives have gotten a lot bigger as we put more video and audio and, 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 and photos on our hard drives. Two gigabytes is nothing, right? So the next barrier that we frequently run up against is this 138 gigabyte barrier, and that's because of something called 24-bit addressing. Have you ever heard of that? Yes, I have. Yes, I thought you. I thought you had, Philip. That means that we can only have 24 bits worth of blocks on our drive, and that turns out to be 138 gigabytes. Newer IDE controllers can go beyond that. In fact, the new 48-bit controllers can go up to. Do you know what a petabyte is, Philip? No, I don't. It's not know. when you bite your pet. <laughs> a petabyte. Well, you've heard of megabyte. Yep. And and gigabyte, right? Yep, and, and a terabyte. Terabyte. Uh, good old Kevin Rose. That, you, Mr. Ter there, you got it. And then we go on from terabyte to petabyte. There's yottabyte. Do you know? Do you, do you know Steve Gibson? What what the what the order? You, if anybody would know, do you know what it is? Is it it's gigabyte, petabyte, yottabyte, gigabyte, terabyte, terabyte, petabyte, petabyte. And then I care zottabyte. There's yottabyte, zottabyte. Do you know Sean? <laughs> I don't know. I'll find out. No, we, we, we had this as a quiz question. Anyway, the point is, with 48-bit addressing, you can get four petabytes on a hard drive. Now, nobody's yet come up with a four petabyte hard drive, and I don't know if that's going to happen in my lifetime. Yeah, they'll just take the delete function off. <laughs> yeah, why delete? Because you'll never, you'll <laughs> yeah. never need to delete anything. You, you can put the whole, you know, the entire Library of Congress, every book, every bit of data in the Library of Congress, it's estimated about 12 terabytes. So for petabytes, you'd be able to have about, well, I don't know, uh, 500 libraries of Congress. All the video ever made. Everything ever done. So anyway, yeah. but the point is, if you had a 24-bit addressing controller, you wouldn't have been able to see 180 gigabytes. You see 189, is that right, Philip? Yep. Yeah. That, is, um, the, that really is actually how many you've got. And here's why. You bought a 200 gigabyte drive and you get a 189 gigabyte drive. And this is a little shenanigans, frankly, that the hard drive manufacturers uh, do. And I'm going to get Steve Gibson to help me uh, a little bit on this one because this one's a little tricky. It's the difference between decimal and binary, right? That you know, the, the we all we all hail from this the, this era of the K. And like you know, four k bytes is it's sort of four thousand, but, but it's, it's actually, not really. It's actually four thousand ninety six. Right. Because one k is not really a thousand; it's ten twenty four. Because so we're doing it in binary. Exactly. So it's it's a k really means close to a thousand. Well, what ma what drive manufacturers do because they want to make their drives look as big as they possibly can is they show the drive in terms of the decimal number of bytes. Windows because it looks bigger because it makes it seem like a bigger drive. A uh, two hundred gigabytes meaning m meaning two comma zero 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 comma zero 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 comma zero 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 bytes. Bytes, but that's not how many. Not how many gig because in gig in actual gigabytes in binary each 
Each K is not a thousand, it's 1024. Each mega is not a million, it's a million something. So what happens is, in gigabytes, in binary, it's, you, you lose some apparent size. So what, when they say it's uh, a 200 gigabyte hard drive, what they're really saying is, it is a 200 billion byte hard drive. Decimal bytes. <laughs> 200 billion bytes, but if we actually set it in kilobytes, megabytes, Gigab really gigabytes, it's, right. it's about 189, as it turns out. That's exactly right. And it'll say on the box, in very fine print or somewhere, it'll say ex ex the actual capacity of the drive. You also lose, and this is actually, I'm glad you're here because I've always wanted to ask you about this, you also lose some when you format a drive. Some data goes away. Yes, there, there's what's called file system overhead. The, the, you know, we've all heard of the fat tables, and then there's the boot sectors, and in NTFS, there are, it's called a bit fat. There are blocks of the disk, which are not, do not contain your data, they contain the file system management right. overhead. Right. And so when you, in fact, you can often see this in a defragger. It'll like block out some some areas which you can't put files into. They're just they're not available it's to you. System. But they did take up some drive space. So how much typically? One percent? Five percent? It actually depends upon the cluster size. The larger the clusters the lower the overhead because you don't have as many clusters because each cluster is bigger. Right. So 4K clusters do consume more of your drive space than, for example, 64K clusters because you have you have one, uh, only one sixteenth as many of them. Now, when you get a drive in the store, usually it's pre-formatted. Do they typically format 4K clusters? 4K because it's the default, right. but it's not optimal for, for, for today's media. So you could reformat and regain some space. Right. Now, here's, by the way, Philip, one way that you can kind of see this in action. If you go into my computer and you right-click on your hard drive, your brand-new hard drive, and select Properties, Microsoft actually tells you both. exactly what you want to know. Capa and you'll see it right here. Now, this is a 120 gigabyte hard drive. It says capacity is 120 billion, 23 million, 252,992 bytes. That's a 120 gigabyte hard drive. Well, it's really not a 120 gigabyte hard drive. It's a 120 billion byte hard drive. Look, this is how many gigabytes, 120. So it's only 111 gigabytes. So that's actually almost exactly what you'd expect for a 200 billion byte drive, yep. 189 gigabytes. So look, we'll do the drive properties, Philip, and you'll see this number is going to match what the drive manufacturer told you. This number is going to match your actual binary bytes. And that's another way to verify that, in fact, you're not getting ripped off. Nor is it a problem with his controller, because if he can see 189 gigs, he's got a 48-bit controller. Yes. Or he's got something funny well, running. Well, he's got, a, he's got enough of a controller that he's able to see all got, of his drives. Yeah, which is what the main thing you care yeah. about. So, hey, thank you for the call. It's a great question. And uh, hang on the line. I think Philip wants an autograph. So hang on the line. We'll get you... Get your email or our mailing address, and we'll send you out an honor. And Sean did find oh. the, the the ongoing. So what is the sequence? Okay, it's kilobyte, megabyte, gigabyte, terabyte, petabyte, exabyte, zettabyte, and yottabyte. I forgot exabyte. Exabyte. Exabyte, zettabyte, and yottabyte. And I can't wait to have a yottabyte <laughs> worth of data, baby. <laughs> Coming up the.